So I thought about recording the rest of this video outside, but it's very, very mosquito-y outside today. And I didn't think that that was particularly celebratory to be swatting at myself and covered in bug spray. And high tea is all about being a little classy, right? <laughs> swatting at mosquitoes I don't think counts. It's a, it is, it has been a wonderful week. Um, it hasn't even been a full week, but I feel, I feel like I'm finally starting to relax. I'm starting to, you know, my sleep pattern has improved, which can be nothing but good. So, um, carrying on. It is Sunday, the last Sunday of June. So that means that it's time for high tea. And I've, I have been excited about my high teas for this summer. I have them all prepared. I've brought them all with me. I am doing things that are, well, actually, you know what? I'll save the other two. I won't even say anything about the other two yet. They'll be a surprise for the next two months. So um, before I get to that, I wanted to prove that I had some progress on a previous high tea start. So. What I've been working on up here is my White Christmas from Scissor Tail Designs. And I have posted a few pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So I finished the lettering and last night, late, 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 I started the tree. So I will be putting some more stitches into this today as well as my new start, which is kind of exciting. So at least in 2018, I will have at least one high tea finish. So the dog is beside me as usual and she just knocked the, the camera a little bit. So if you see a bit of an earthquake there, that's why the troublemaker has, has joined us. So this month's high tea. A Glendon Place and Dinky Dyes collaboration. This was a gift many years ago from my friend Adrian. Shortly after we met, uh, the three of us got together with, uh, so Adrian and my friend Tracy and I, you've met Tracy before. Um, she's the, she's my friend who stitched the Star Wars designs. The three of us got together for a very first stitching date at my house and Adrian, who is the queen of surprises and, you know, knowing exactly what kind of gift that you would just absolutely love. She had purchased three of these kits. And she came to my house that day and she had one for each of us. I know, right? So this has the pattern. the fabric which is a pale soft pink and then the dinky dye silks and then this is a skein of Sullivan in here so I have not opened this I have not taken it apart I have not done anything this has been tucked away saving for good for a special for far too long and it's time to take it out of the packaging and stitch it so that is making me quite happy today. So that's my new start for June, June's high tea. And it makes me feel pretty happy. Okay, so that's my new start and moving on to the giveaway, which is always so much fun. It's a good one this month. I think you're going to be super excited. This month's giveaway is thanks to my friend Sandy, who I've mentioned before gave me a gift bag stuffed full of stitching patterns and other miscellaneous bits and bobs from her stash. And she said that I could do with them what I pleased, um, but that, you know, she said, feel free to use them for giveaways. And it was, it was so generous that I decided at the time that I would 
spread her generosity out into the world because, um, well, it just makes, you know, good karma, right? Good karma. So thank you, Sandy. And I think you guys are going to be pretty blown away with this. So this month's giveaway, I'm going to remember to give you the details now. This month's giveaway is going to be on YouTube. So if you leave me a comment on this video about this giveaway, you will be entered in the draw. Now, this is my first speaking video other than I know I did the Friday off the grid, but first you're seeing my face on the camera. So a year ago when I started doing these videos, uh, it's, it's, it's been, it's been almost exactly a year, which is crazy. But one of my first episodes, I told a joke and it was a terrible corny joke about a duck in a library. And I love corny jokes. So, and I had a giveaway on that episode. I think, I can't remember which one it was, four or five. And I, I had a giveaway and my giveaway for that video, I asked people to share with me a corny joke and you did not disappoint. <laughs> so I would like to revisit that um, theme and we are on the theme of corny jokes. Please tell me a corny joke below to be entered in this giveaway. Do not use the word giveaway. Just tell me a corny joke and you are entered in the draw. So are you ready? Okay, so this month's giveaway is a fabulous Shepherd's Bush kit. So this is called Eve's Garden by Shepherd's Bush. And are you ready for this? It comes with the fabric and the floss and the little teeny cute buttons. I think there's even a needle. Yep, there's a needle in there as well. Everything that you need to stitch this beautiful Adam and Eve piece by Shepherd's Bush. That's this month's giveaway. Pretty exciting. And all you have to do is tell me a corny joke to be entered. So leave me your best corny joke, make me laugh, and you're entered. So that's it for me today. I'm a little bit tired today. I stayed up way too late last night because I had had a little too much coffee and I was just really enjoying stitching on my piece. I've also been binge watching Call the Midwife. I downloaded, you know, on Netflix, you can download shows to watch without using data for later. And so before I left London, I downloaded the entire all of the shows are on my iPad and I have been binge watching Call the Midwife and it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. And so I could not stop watching it last night and I couldn't stop drinking coffee and stitching. So I stayed up way too late and I think it was at about quarter to one when out of nowhere I heard a whippoorwill. Whippoorwill? Whipper, whoop, whipper. Oh, that's a hard one. Whipper will, whipper will. There you go. Say that 10 times fast. And I, I may have heard one up here before. Uh, uh, there's probably been one or two up here before, but I've never noticed their call. But this one was singing his heart out last night. And he went on and on and on. I went to bed, he was still singing. It was amazing. And I've never, I never remember hearing one before, uh, quite to this extent, obviously, you know, looking for some female companionship or something. He was just singing his heart out, but I recorded a little video of the sound. So, um, the, it's, it's the inside of my cottage at night. So it's a bit dim because we have propane lights here. So the lighting is not great, but really all you need is to just listen. And it was, it was really nice. And then the whippoorwill stopped singing and the loon started up. Now I did not record the loon last night because they were really chatty and it wasn't the sort of haunting call. It was the call that they make while they're, when they're flying or they're communicating with each other. So I'm going to keep trying to get that other call. That's just so evocative of the, the ghost like quality of their call. So. Anyways, 
So that's it for me today. That's it for high tea for June. This is wrapping up June. We are halfway through the year, headed into July. I do have a new start planned for July for my birthday, which is Hoity Toity by Long Dog Samplers. But I'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow because I will be planning a floss tube update for tomorrow. Have a great Sunday. Happy weekend. Happy stitching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.